Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Let us discuss some important questions based on the daily current affairs. Friends, I am updating daily current affairs video every day. I am compiling these questions from various sources, from different newspapers, magazines, websites, etc. So these are the most important questions. I am I'm compiling only 10 questions for a particular day. Apart from this, I will provide you weekly and uh, monthly capsules also with more number of questions. But these will be the important questions for that particular day. I request you to kindly spend 5 to 10 uh, minutes every single day and uh, these will be the most probable questions for the students appearing for different competitive exams like IBPSP or RRB, RBA Grade B, Civil Services, SSC Railways, uh, IB, ACIO for all kinds of uh, competitive exams. So let's get started with today's questions and before that a small uh, news article for you that uh, IBPS has released recruitment process for uh, officers in scale 1, 2 and 3 and also office assistants in RRBs in regional rural banks. So the online registration has started from 1st June to 21st June. The preliminary examination is in August 2023. So uh, whoever is interested in appearing for this exam, please uh, keep note of these deadlines. 1st to 21st. 21st June is the last day to apply. So let's start with the questions for the day. Question number one. Which country has unveiled a new hypersonic ballistic missile with name FATA? A hypersonic ballistic missile with name FATA. The correct answer is Iran. Iran has claimed that it had created a new hypersonic missile capable of traveling at 15 times the speed of sound. The new missile is called FATA or translated into English it is called as Conqueror and additional info I would like to give about this uh, about Iran. Iran has recently reopened its embassy in Saudi Arabia after a gap of seven years. The capital of Iran is Tehran. The president of Iran is Ibrahim Raisi and the supreme leader of Iran is Ayatollah Al Khamenei. Next question. As per the latest outlook of the World Bank, global economy will expand by what percent in 2023 so as per the world bank the global economy will expand by 2.1 percent in 2023 the latest outlook of world bank says the world economy would expand by 2.1 percent in 2023 compared to 3.1 in 22 the key reasons for the global slowdown are rising interest rates russia ukraine standoff and the after effects of the pandemic question number three who has recently been appointed as the new president of the World Bank? The correct answer is Ajay Banga. Mr. Banga, the former CEO of Mastercard, has been appointed as the 14th president of the World Bank. Mr. Banga was nominated by President Biden in February after the resignation of David Malpass, the, outgo the outgoing World Bank president, who had been selected by former President Donald Trump. The World Bank's executive board approved Mr. Banga in May following an extensive listening tour that included visits to eight countries and dozens of meetings with government officials around the world. Question number four. International Financial Corporation, IFC, a part of the World Bank Group, and which institution have collaborated to bolster India's infrastructure sector? The correct answer is NAPFID, N-A-B-F-I-D, IFC. International Financial Corporation is a part of the World Bank Group and National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development. NAPFIT means National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development have joined hands to collaborate on identifying and developing PPP, Public Private Partnership Projects to bolster India's infrastructure sector. The collaboration marked by a Memorandum of Understanding signed on Friday aligns with government's objective of achieving 5 trillion economy while promoting low carbon and climate resilient growth. Question number 5. Which Indian public sector bank has announced the commencement of a new service called ICCW, Interoperable Cardless Cash Withdrawal. Now you can withdraw cash from the ATM without any ATM card by scanning a QR code from your mobile. So this facility is first launched by which bank? The correct answer is Bank of Baroda. Bank of Baroda announced the commencement of a new service called Interoperable Cardless Cash Withdrawal. 
It is the first public sector bank to introduce this service. Now customers can withdraw cash using UPI services from the bank's ATMs. Under this service, customers can avail two transactions a day per account with a withdrawal limit of rupees 5000 per transaction. Question number 6. Which state is set to launch the CM Learn and Earn scheme? CM Learn and Earn scheme. Answer is Madhya Pradesh. In Madhya Pradesh, Chief Minister's Learn and Earn scheme will be launched to teach employable skills to the youth. In this scheme, 703 work areas have been identified for training. The most important aspects of this Learn and Earn scheme is that along with learning skills, the youth will also be given an allowance of 8,000 to 10,000 rupees. Roland Garros is a term associated with which sport? Roland Garros is a term associated with tennis. It is also called as the French Open. The French Open, also known as Roland Garros, is a major tennis tournament held over two weeks at the state Roland Garros in Paris, France, beginning in late May each year. Rafael Nadal is the most successful French Open men's tennis player having won 14 titles out of the total 22 Grand Slams he has won. Question number 8. Junior Shooting World Cup is being held in which country? The answer is Germany. Seoul, Germany. And India is on the top of the table winning 5 gold, 4 silver and 2 bronze medals. Question number 9. Kaufe National Park seen in news recently is in which country? Kaufe National Park is in Zambia. It is in news because lion and leopard population in Zambia's Kaufe National Park, which is the third largest in Africa, are showing signs of a modest comeback following decades of poaching. And I would like to give some additional info about Zambia. Capital of Zambia is Lusaka. Final question for the day. Siddharth Chaudhary clinched a gold medal at Under-20 Asian Athletics Championships in South Korea. In which event? So he has won the gold medal in the event. Short put. India's Siddharth Chaudhary clinched gold in men's short put with a personal best throw of 19.52 meters on the second day of the Under-20 Asian Athletics Championship in Yekyon, South Korea. Further, three other players have won silver medals in their respective events. Shah Rukh Khan in 3000 meter steeplechase, Shivam Lokhare in javelin throw and Susmita in long jump. I would like to add a small piece of information regarding a question that I asked a couple of days ago. I, in the description section, I am going to provide you all the links of my previous daily current affair videos. I had asked in the question that where is the men's junior Asia hockey 2023 being held? So the answer was Salala in Oman and at that time India was in semi-finals and now that the event is over, India has won the Men's Junior Asia Cup Hockey 2023. In the final, India beat Pakistan 2-1. Now before I end this video, I am going to give you a quiz question. In the next slide, I am going to show you a picture and give me the reply for that picture. From today onwards, I am going to ask you one question at the end of uh, the video. I want you to reply in the comment section. Who are these two people? I can give you a hint. Actually, the hint is in the picture itself. But I'll explain you the question. Who are the first two people to climb the Mount Everest? Give me the reply in the comment section. I'll provide you the answer in the tomorrow's video. Until then, have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.